So, so today we're uh, introducing um, System Platform 2017 um, with um, uh, Operation Management Interface, Intouch OMI. So what we're doing here is uh, I'm going to give a short demonstration of um, the product and the system that we have built here. Um, at first, the first thing really around um, the Operation Management Interface is the ability to handle things like multi-touch. So um, to give a natural experience on any device, uh, you can basically touch multiple um, uh, instances and things and drag and drop them down, uh, change set points, of course, uh, pan and zoom. So actually having the ability to pan and zoom and get back out of something. Um, the uh, menus, you can swipe in by a three finger swipe. So this is the uh, navigational model. Uh, then basically you can have settings that can come in from above. Uh, we can have a contextual menu coming in from the right that allows you to log in and bring things up like a calculator and stuff like that. And then uh, and we also have the um, SCADA playback, which is actually allowing us to uh, switch a graphic into a um, historical mode and play back the data from the historian. We also have in the system the complete, of course, the, uh, the complete situational awareness library. Uh, so in here you actually will see that we have all the uh, dashboard symbols uh, that we use to uh, visualize production data. Um, that can be shown on any of these screens. So this is a four screen setup and they're automatically all connected together. So if when I change context to a different asset, the system picks this up and basically puts content into every screen if it's present. So if I go to my storage facility, I basically get a view on the map. I get a view on, on one of these monitors. Uh, the second monitor shows me the second level, which is Paris uh, overview. These are all the sites overviews. And this is then my storage area overview for those uh, buildings. Uh, we call this, uh, this is all running in one namespace. Uh, so the ability to pass contacts from one to the other screen is built into the system. The navigation, uh, the model for navigation is inherent to system platform. So this is really the, the, the main visualization for system platform what uses the model. So when you build out your model in system platform, you automatically set up your navigation as well. Um, so when I, that means that if I go to a storage tank number one here, for example, I have the ability then to um, show the contextual information from that storage tank. So trends and anything that I can control on the right side. Um, so I can bring up things like, uh, for example, uh, faceplates. Uh, so if I click on a valve, I can operate this valve through this faceplate. Uh, this is all by default built into the system. Um, also, to get to another asset, so uh, to go from storage tank number one back to another storage tank, you can just swipe. So you can swipe in between tanks. Um, so in this particular building, we have seven tanks. So I can then swipe through uh, seven tanks. Not only will it do that, it will also show me on the map then where that tank is located, where the asset is located on, on the uh, um, satellite map, and it will show me the temperature pressure and level of that tank in that particular view. Uh, if I change the asset, then automatically that map will pick up the context and show me where storage tank 01 is on the map. Um, nobody has to script this or basically go in and link these applications together. They are yoked together because of you, it's using um, um, something we implemented called context. So context um, will give you the ability to bring applications up in context with what you are looking at. So right now I have selected storage tank 01. If I bring up our uh, inside chart application, it will automatically find out from this tank what is historically trended and put that onto a trend uh, display. Uh, so this particular trend will now show uh, the uh, data for uh, storage tank number one and using, um, of course, uh, pan and zoom functions in the trend, I can, I can make things larger or smaller. So this particular information is only related to storage tank one and it found automatically that there is a level temperature and a pressure uh, trended. Um, in a lot of ap other applications, you have to set this up manually. So, so you have to configure pen trends and you have to bring that, so associate that with somehow with the graphic. In this system, it's automatically configured for you and brings those configurations up. So it saves you configuration time. If you then want to see where the asset is located on the map, you just simply click on the map and it will bring up the map with the asset. Uh, so, so here also, 
you have automatically the contextual information uh, associated with the assets uh, that are showing. So it will show us on the map and then you can use pan and zoom to pan and zoom out on a map to see where the asset is. Um, so, so this integral uh, approach where you have um, basically the, the, the assets already integrated into um, applications that show you in context these applications. Uh, these are some of the apps that we provide ourselves. We also have partners like uh, J5 um, and Win911 and Dream Reports and others that have plugin applications to show their applications. So if you want to show a uh, logbook entry for this particular asset, you can bring up the logbook app and look at the log entries. Um, so we think that apps are really the main thing that is going to change the game. Um, throughout time in the industry, people always had the ability to use controls. And these controls had to be scripted and they basically had to be somehow implemented into the product, but there was a lot of engineering effort to do that. Um, with InterShowMy, so with the operation management interface, the apps basically have already the contextual integration. So they know what asset you're looking at and automatically link the assets to a particular view. That can be a map view, a camera view, a log view, or anything like that. Another thing that we have built into the system, which is uh, very beneficial, is basically the ability to basically the ability to dynamically create screens. So this particular graphic was manually created. I created this graphic and created all the, the cards that you see on here. Um, however, we have also something that we call a, an app. It's a, it's a symbol presenter. Um, and this presenter app can actually, when you click on it, it can fetch from, um, from the model, it can fetch a particular graphic and plot it in a, in a wrapped panel. So this looks like the graphic I just had before that was manually assembled, but this is completely dynamic. Um, so this is dynamically built up and I can scroll through it and see my 24 tanks um, and this view is then a programmatically created view. Um, so this helps engineers to reduce the time that it takes to create uh, detailed screens uh, that show contextual information or show KPI information related to the tanks or show a tank overview, things like that. And it's also, um, 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 so it's also very uh, contextual. So before I showed you that it had 24 tanks, if I click on it again, you will see that it's now only plotting seven because I'm looking at building one right now. So if I bring the app up, it's actually saying I see basically seven storage tanks in building three. And then you can choose uh, from those, you can choose then the particular tank that you want to go to and it will take you. Uh, with this app, you can also create uh, different type of views, uh, like for example, a list view. If I want to see all my um, um, KPI symbols for this particular asset, I can bring them up here. Or I want to see a alarm state list, I can bring them up here. So it will show me all the areas that are there and what states they are in. So this is a very, very powerful application uh, that we give out that basically is part of the system. Uh, this whole UI that you see here is our uh, runtime UI, which is basically which we have done and which we have created with an um, external design company called Atoma, and that we designed a, a material design looking uh, UI UX that people can use out of the box. So basically this whole top part you get when you use System Platform 2017 uh, with the operation management interface, the content, what is in the bottom, is something that, that a user brings in. So that's the customized part. Uh, but the top part is actually provided out of the box and uh, there is nothing for you that you have to design your own user interface. We provide a user interface for you for runtime. What is based on best practices and uh, studies that we have done with our customers. Um, then as last, um, to create the application, so the application, for example, that I showed here around the map or other applications that are present, we have a complete SDK and toolkit that we, we have given out to our partners, what will enable them to build these applications um, uh, uh, very quickly and put them out into a marketplace. So we'll be launching a marketplace where 
uh, our customers can download the applications because applications have a shorter life cycle than the product itself. When we ship the product, we have some apps in, in included, but we expect our ecosystem to generate a lot of more applications that will be up on a marketplace and they can retrieve those and use those in, those in your apps. So we really think that the whole app concept within Intasoma is going to change the whole market. Uh, because at that point it becomes more like an iPhone experience instead of a customized engineered experience uh, that somebody has provided to you. Um, so that's, that's pretty much a, a quick overview of, of um, uh, the operation management interface and all the abilities that it has um, uh, in the, um, um, in, and the capabilities that it has in runtime. Thank you. Thank you.